Let's talk. Let's go back to that game last night uh, in New Orleans, and it was really a, a tale of two halves as Buckeye Nation's suffering the big hangover today. But the first half, the Buckeyes looked like they were going to blow Kansas right off the court, up by 13. The second half, the Jayhawks, I, did they want it more? I mean, what did you see out of that basketball game last night? Uh, I saw a whole different uh, side of Kansas defensively. I thought they got into the body of the Ohio State Buckeyes, pushed them away from the basket. I thought they really put a lot of pressure on Kraft. They overplayed the wings and uh, were very physical inside. And with uh, the two bigs inside, I think they frustrated uh, Jared. And uh, Thomas was battling with foul trouble. So it was a combination of a lot of things. Some people could just say it was a terrible shooting half. But I, th I think Kansas's defense had a lot to do with it. You know, Coach Mata had mentioned after the game they needed one more guy to kind of fill up the bucket. They needed somebody to score, but it, 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 at times, and you mentioned the two bigs, especially for Kansas, not only did they seem to frustrate the Buckeyes, but they kind of changed their game plan a little bit as the Buckeyes stopped attacking and settled for everything outside in the perimeter. Well, they, they benefit when uh, Deshaun went out of the game with foul trouble, so they, they could pack it in a little bit more. They did a good job pressuring on the perimeter. Uh, Deshaun creates a dynamic for Ohio State's offense that's hard to replace, and uh, it, it was a, a tough night for Jared. I, you know, when you get this far, you need all your guys to play well. You need two or three guys to maybe play above average. Uh, I thought Will was solid. You know, Will Buford had 19 points, seven rebounds, but uh, I think it's fair to say none of the other guys really had uh, uh, you know a solid average game of what you know you typically expect from the Buckeyes and it's tough at this level because uh, you get this far and you, you you need two or three guys to play as well as they've been playing if not better give me your feeling on on whether or not you think Jared Selinger comes back Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I really, I'm not sure. I, I think they put so much pressure on these kids and they, you know, they, they've been critical of Jared at times. The college game is completely different. You know, they, they sag the lane. It's clogged up. You can play zone defenses. You can easily double the post. Things that, you know, won't happen at the next level for Jared. So, you know, I, th I think sometimes when you're the focus of as much attention as he gets night, to, night in and night out, you know, some people say, well, you know, maybe he should have gone out last year or they want to prognosticate about where his draft, you know, position would have been a year ago versus now. Um, you know, I'm not really sure. I think there's a dynamic with being from Columbus and being local um, that we experienced a little bit with Michael Red. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't really want to go out there and, and, and speculate. I, I would assume he's going to come out, but uh, it, it wouldn't shock me because uh, he's such a, uh, you know, solid, great kid, uh, terrific person around Columbus, you know, well-known family, and I, I know he really enjoys playing college basketball. Overall, how would you rate the postseason for the Big Ten? Yeah, overall, I think it was very successful. I think we're really pleased. We had a great year. Um, anyone that's been in the NCAA tournament, I was a part of five of them. It comes down to matchups and situations where guys need to play well and continue to get better. But uh, every team presents its own set of challenges, and, and uh, sometimes you see a, a defense that you haven't seen in a while. Michigan State was a little bit stymied by a matchup zone that Louisville threw at them, and they had a tough shooting night. And uh, I, I thought Kansas did some things last night that frustrated the Buckeyes. So it's, it's tough. You get greedy. You know, you, you always want more. You get to the Final Four, you want a national championship. You get, you get six team in the NCAAs, you want nine in the NCAAs. You know, you get to the NIT Final, you want an NIT championship. So we'll, we'll take the year as it was.